right, we're back at 741 this morning on Ross and Report. Surviving an emergency aboard your flight. Would you know what to do? How to escape a plane if you needed to? Well, today, National Investigative Correspondent Jeff Rossin is here with some really good information. Jeff, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Savannah. Good morning, guys. Look, I fly all the time. Maybe you do, too, with your family. And I will admit, I fly so much, I sort of tune out when the flight attendant is giving those instructions in the beginning. Oh, I know how to fly. I know what to do if there's an emergency. And I look around, a lot of you, a lot of you are doing the same thing. So this morning, a wake-up call for you and for me. We are simulating a crash landing and showing you how to escape. Three, four, land. In an instant, my plane is filling with smoke. We just crash landed. Police people, leave everything. Every move is critical. Every mistake, costly. Thankfully, this is just a drill. Let's go. But in real life, the stakes are monumental. Passengers on this U.S. Airways flight evacuating after a takeoff emergency. On this JetBlue flight, oxygen masks dropping, the cabin filling with smoke during an emergency landing. And just last month, two more planes in trouble, an Air Canada jet and a Turkish airliner both skidding off runways. The passengers again escaping down slides. Everyone made it out safely. So today, we're getting rare access inside Delta's flight attendant training facility, one of the most intense programs in the industry. Preparing me for a worst-case scenario? Leave everything. Come this way. Liz Layton, a veteran flight attendant with 18 years experience, showing me what I did wrong during my escape, like when I tried to get out through the front door. I came to this door because it was the closest exit, but she blocked me. She blocked you because she saw fire outside. That's why there's a flight attendant at each exit, and we encourage passengers to never, ever open up our exits. So passengers should never open a door? Never. I'm glad you brought that up because I do fly a lot, and sometimes I end up sitting in the exit row, and the flight attendant always comes by and says, are you willing and able to open the door? So what's that about? willing and able to assist us if we need you in an emergency. So you must follow our instructions. So don't open this door by myself unless you tell me to. Exactly. And I didn't even realize I made this next mistake right there. Watch as I stop to grab my phone. Leave everything, including purse, phones, leave everything. And here's another mistake. I even jumped down the slide the wrong way. When you went down the slide, it was like going down a water slide. You need to put your arms straight ahead when you go down the slide. So sort of like you're a zombie. Yes. Okay, show me. Jump. That way, it's easier for the people at the bottom to pull you up. But what do you do if your plane goes down in the water? Underneath your seat, you see that life vest tab? Yes. Go ahead and pull it. Then you're going to tear along where it says pull. You're going to put the straps behind you, put it over your head. Okay. You're going to attach the two straps to the front center ring. It's very important not to inflate your life vest while you're inside the airplane. You're going to wait for the flight attendants to call you to the door. Now we're at the door. I need you to grab these red tabs here, and I want you to pull it. I want you to cross your arms over your life vest and jump into the water. Now swim to that raft. We realize how hard it is to swim wearing your real clothes, jeans and a shirt, making me very sluggish and slow. And think about how scared you would be in a real situation right now. At the raft, my fellow passengers helping me in. Thank you. At the end of the day, we have your back. We will do everything we can to ensure that you and your family are safe. She's the real deal, Liz. Here's the good news. According to the NTSB, most airplane crashes are survivable. So it does come down to how you escape. The key piece of advice, these flight attendants are trained for this. you got to listen to their instructions. And I want to show you guys, you, know, you heard that JetBlue video, Brace, Brace. Mm -hmm. You think you know what to do, but you, you don't. What you, I want to show you what you do is you put your seat upright if they tell you to brace. If there's a seat in front of you, you go like this and you put, you put your forearms, you cross them and you put your head down on the seat. Mm. If you're in the bulkhead and there's no seat in front of you, and you pardon me, I'm going to move my seat back a little so I don't hit you, Natalie. Okay. You put your head between your knees and arms around your ankles like this. That's how you brace in the bulkhead. So if they tell you to brace, now you know what to do. I would have done everything wrong. Yeah, yeah. I've been trying to open up the emergency door. 
That's what or, we said. We thought when yeah. they were saying, are you prepared to open the door? They're not asking you to open it. Right. They want you to help them. I always miss that word, assist us. Yes. I would have just started yeah. ripping it open. Yeah. That's not a anymore. heavy door, because yeah, I've been nice. to that facility, and it's yeah. it's not easy to do that. So. Sure, too strong. They're, Tough on they're you, man. first responders, though. Oh. I mean, <laughs> I'm going down. Now, what do you do? <laughs> what do you do when that well, happens? I recommend wearing a chair. Brace for impact of the chair. Jump off the slide, Ross. Jeff, what's that position Yeah, exactly. The loser. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Some really good information. Thanks. Appreciate it.